Hey, I uh, appreciate you watching Mondays with Mike. I'm in a run today, so I, I'm filming from uh, my wife's vehicle. Uh, I was showing somebody my granddaughter's picture last night at the pool party. I had a great time there. Um, and I, as I was trying to explain her essence with a picture, I knew that they just didn't get it. Now, they knew I loved her, but they just they didn't get the full effect of, of just who she is and, and how lovable she is and, and uh, her, her personality and charm and, and just how uh, she melts my heart. Because she's the person I was explaining it to had never experienced her face to face. It kind of made me uh, think of what the Bible says in uh, 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter concludes with this. Look, look, for now we see dimly, and I was trying to show a dim picture of my granddaughter to somebody, and they just didn't get it. But, but then face to face, now I know in part, but then I shall be known fully even as I'm known. And, and Paul was saying, look, uh, we, we love God and we know him, and, and this, this is a picture of God, but, and, and it's his word, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great tool to know him but we can only know him in part. Uh, Paul actually says in a few chapters earlier, he says, uh, now look, a lot of us think we possess knowledge and this knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. If anyone thinks he knows something, uh, he does not yet know as he ought to know. But if, you, if anyone loves God, he's known by God. So Paul is saying, look, we, we know God and, and it puffs us up a little bit, but really far more important is, is how much we love God. And, and so uh, I just see dimly Jesus Christ in this. One day I'm going to see him face to face. I, 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 I commune with him. I, I develop my intimacy with him. I, I do all the things that the Bible tells me to do to know him, but I only know him in part. But one day I'm going to step into eternity. I'm going to see my man face to face. It's going to make all this stuff that we do here worthwhile. Just like occasionally I go hug my granddaughter face to face and everything melts away. I'm looking forward to that moment when I see Jesus face to face, no longer dimly. And he says, thank you for serving me and for loving me. Well done. As you uh, think about that moment for yourself, as a believer, I hope you two are moved to be steadfast, immovable, always about and in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord, one day we'll see that all this is not in vain. I appreciate you watching Mondays with Mike, and I'll see you next week.